Hello everyone. Welcome back to study tip for IGCSE Mathematics. Today's topic is related to averages and measures of spread. Today we are cover several topics like average, modes, mean, spread, median, range, upper quartile and lower quartiles. Sometimes you need to summarize data to make sense of it. You do not always need to draw a diagram. Instead, you can calculate numerical summaries of average and spread. Numerical summaries can be very useful for comparing different sets of data, but as with all statistics, you must be careful when interpreting the results. Different types of average. An average is a single value used to represent a set of data. There are three types of average used in statistics, and the following shows how each can be calculated. The shoe size of 19 students in a class are shown as 4, 7, 6, 6, 7, 4, 8, 3, 8, 11, 6, 8, 6, 3, 5, 6, 7, 6, 4. How would you describe the shoe size in this class? If you count how many size 4 or how many size 5 and so on, you will find that the most common, most frequent shoe size in the class is 6. The average is called the mode. What most people think of as the average is the value you get, when you add up all the shoe sizes and divide your answer by the numbers of students. Example, total of shoe size. If you total all the value, you might get the answer is 150. Divided by number of students. Number of students here is 19. So the average that you can get is 6.05 is actually two decimal point. So the average is called the mean. The mean value tells you that the shoe size appear to be spread in some way around the value of 6.05. It also gives you a good impression of the general size of the data. Notice that the value of the mean in this case is not a possible shoe size. The mean is sometimes referred to as the measure of central tendency of the data. Another measure of central tendency is the middle value when the shoe size are arranged in ascending order. Example, you have a list of shoe size 33444 4, 5, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 7, 7, 7, 8, 8, 8, and 11. If you know, if you now think of the first and last value as one pair, the second and second to last as another pair, and so on, you can cross this number off and you will be left with a single value in the middle. The middle value in this case is Six and is known as median. Means the formula for means it is actually total of all data divided by number of values. So how to get the median is arrange the data into ascending numerical order. If the number of data is n and n is odd, find n plus 1 divided by 2. And this will give you the position of the medium. If n is even, then calculate n divided by 2. And this will give you the position of the first of the middle pair. Given you the questions, ask you to find the total score after 6 tests. After six tests, Graham has a mean average score of 48. 
Okay, he takes the seven tests and score 83 for the test. What is Graham total score after six tests? How to calculate the mean is total of all data divided by number of value. In this case, he's already given mean is 48. And number of value is 6. How to get the total of data? So total of data is equivalent to mean multiplied by number of value. So in this case, means is 48. Multiply by 6, number of value. That means total score after 6 tests as per question. So you get the value is 288. Question number 2. What is the Graham mean average score? So if he wants to get the average score after 7 tests, you know that total of all 7 tests is actually total of first 6 plus 7. Okay, so you have total of data is 288 plus 83 because the 7 tests and the score is 83. So you get the value of 371. So to get the mean of the uh, average score after 7 tests, you have to 371 divided by 7. So it's equivalent to 53. The next example of comparison using averages and range. Range is actually largest value minus smallest value. Let's do let's look at the first question. Calculate the mean 100 meter times for each team. Okay. We have T Pythagoras, total value 143.5. 14.3 plus 16.6 plus 14.3 plus 17.9 plus 14.1 and 15.7. And the value here is about 6. So if you want to find means, for teams categories, it should be 92.9 divided by 6 equals to 15.48 seconds. If you want to find Means for teams correct is also the same. Total of all data 13.2, 6 plus 16.8 plus 14.7 plus 14.7 plus 13.6 plus 16.2 divided by 6, then you get the value is 14.87. So if you see here, teams correct have the smaller means 100 meters times as compared to team categories. So See, what does this tell you about 100 meters time for team categories in comparison with those teams scored? It means that team scored are slightly faster as a team than team categories. What it means is team scored, it takes less time as compared to team categories. And then calculate the range for each team. So if you see here, if you want to calculate the range, the formula is largest value minus smallest value. In Pythagoras range, the highest is 17.9 minus the lowest is 20.1. So you get 3.8 seconds. In scores, the highest is 16.8 minus 13.2. So you get 3.6 seconds. Calculating averages and range. So far, the list of data that we have calculated averages for has been quite small. Once you start to get more than 20 pieces of data, it is better to collect the data with the same value together and record in it a table. So such a table is known as a frequency distribution table or just a frequency distribution. So data shown in a frequency distribution table if you throw a single dice 100 times, each of the six numbers will appear several times. You can record the number of times that each appear like this. For example, like the first throw, you might get frequency of 16. 
the second throw you might get the frequency of 13 third throw you might get frequency of 14 fourth throw you get the frequency of 17 fifth throw you get the frequency of 19 and the sixth throw you get the frequency of 21 so if you want to calculate the frequency the number on the upper face what you got to do is 1 multiply by 16 equals to 16 2 multiply by 13 equals to 26 3 multiply by 14 equals to 42 4 multiply by 17 equals to 68 5 multiply by 19 equals to 95 and 6 multiply by 21 equals to 126 total of this data of this score you might get about 373 and to get the means for per score per row is total of the frequency which is in this case 373 divided by the total frequency which is 100 the total number of throw so you might get 3.73 there are 100 throw which is an even number so the median will be the means of the middle pair so the first of this middle pair will be found in the position of 100 over 2 equals to 15. The tables has placed all the value in order. The first 16 are 1, the next 13 are 2, and so on. Notice that adding the first three frequencies give 16 plus 13 plus 43 equals to 43. This means that the first 43 values are 1, 2, or 3. So the next 70 values are 4th, so the 50th and 51st value will be both 4th. The mean of both 4th is 4, so this is the medium. Mode. For the mode, you simply need to find the die value that has the highest frequency. The number 6 occurs most 21 times, so 6 is the mode. Range. The highest and the lowest value are known as, so the range is, should be 6 minus 1 equals to 5. Mode, the value that has the highest frequency will be the mode. If more than one value has the same higher frequency, then there is no single mode. Means means, formula to calculate means is total of all data divided by number of value. Or it could be sum of frequency multiplied by value divided by total frequency, as is already shown in the previous example. Medium, if the number of data is n and the n is odd, find n plus 1 divided by 2, and this will give you the position of the median. If n is even, then calculate n divided by 2, and this will give you the position of the first of the middle pair. Find the means of this pair and then add the frequency in turn until you find the value whose frequency makes you exceed or equal the value from 1 or 2 above. So this is considered the process or the formula to calculate again. With that, that's all for today's um, class regarding averages measures and measures of the spread. Thank you very much.